Never let anybody see you sweat. So I was born in New York City and I lived there until I was eight years old. I realized that I was a much better talker than I was a listener. I don't know what to say, I just don't like what you're saying. Sorry, Your Honor. I ended up going to law school at Georgetown and I was a prosecutor for Janet Reno. I loved it because it was so raw. Were you cheating on her? Yeah, sure. Okay. All rise. Our show will be a mixture of education. I think you're misreading the law a little bit. And entertainment. <laughs> my main goal is justice and the law. That's been my legacy and the legacy I hope to continue into the future with the show. Elliot King claims his parents agreed to pet sit while he went to Europe, but refused to give his dog back when he returned. Jackson and Ava King say the animal had been neglected and is better off with them. All rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Millian presiding. All parties have missed one, Your Honor. Thank you. Please be seated. Okay, Mr. King, you are suing mom and dad for $20,000 because you asked them to watch your dog and now they refuse to return your dog. That is correct, Your Honor. What happened here? I went on a trip to Europe and my parents were taking care of Pepper. Whose dog was, was it? Back up a second and tell me whose dog was it? Uh, Pepper's my dog now, but originally she was my brother, John's. Okay, um, and that, is that accurate? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, and so then John is where now that he didn't take his dog with him? John enlisted in the Army. Okay. He is stationed at Fort Drum in New York. Okay. Uh, so when he went off to boot camp, he wasn't allowed to take Pepper with him, and he left me this letter here, if I could send that up to the chair. Uh, I've never seen that, Your Honor. Okay, let's see what it is. And this letter essentially just says that he's not the best at goodbyes, which is fair enough about my brother, but that he wants me to take care of Pepper while he's gone. And since he has a long tour, um, I took this to mean as like a transfer of ownership. So let me show it to you. You know your child's handwriting, um, I presume. And is that, uh, and you also, I presume, speak to your child. So is that, in fact, uh, a note that you're... Your uh, Honor, I, to be honest, it could go either way. I'm familiar with this uh, cursor, but not with this printing. Okay. Well, do, do you know for a fact that, in, that that's what he did, that as a gesture of a goodbye, he gave the dog to him? Because didn't, we, he, we did didn't hear this one mention it as soon as it happened? No, no, Your Honor. We did hear something to that effect, okay. but we just didn't know how much truth was to, to, okay. to it. You know All what right. I mean? So, but now, when you, you end up moving out of the house at what age? I end up moving out at 18, two years right. after I got the dog. Two years after you got the dog. Did you take the dog with you? I did take the dog Was with that me. a clue, that it was his dog? <laughs> All yes. right, so then how long yes. were, you bef were you living with the dog before you asked them, will you watch him while I go to Europe? Uh, about a year. A year, okay. And then uh, did you ever bring the dog over for them to visit with, or they, would they visit you and the dog? Or Not often. We live pretty nearby, but I work as a barista. I was putting myself through community college. College. I was a little busy to return home, especially because we're not exactly the closest, me and my parents. Um, was there a particular reason for that? Your Honor, things have never been the same in my family since John left. So my parents, after he leaves, they join the support group for parents of soldiers in affiliation with the local church. And I thought it was a really good thing for them to get some of you know the support that they need missing my brother. Um, but they started leaning into the fundamentalist religiosity of it all. And I still thought I could trust them because I was, you know, I was their kid, they're my parents. So at 17, I come out to them and I met with not outright hostility, but they haven't looked at me the same way ever since. Okay, what do, um, what do you mean they haven't looked at you the same way? Have they ever actually verbally stated anything that they, or you just feel it? I just feel it and they constantly compare me to John. They always have, but ever since he went off to the military, I'm, I'm supposed to be as much of a hero as he is, and I'm supposed to be as driven and as motivated, and I'm a hard worker, but I'm not my You're brother. You're your own person. You're not him. I can't be held to his standards. No. Did they ever verbally express that they were disappointed in you? Not that they were disappointed. Um, I think the word they used most often was worried. 
Um, okay. They were concerned for me. Um, I was doing fine. I was working my way through college. I even had enough saved up to take the trip at the end of it. So let's talk about the trip. So it was... By the way, you're how old right now? I'm 19. Okay, go on. So I took a gap semester um, after I completed my first year of college to do a brief European tour with my boyfriend. Okay. Um, but, What's brief? Uh, about two and a half months. Well, that's not brief. That's a good chunk of time. It is, and a lot of my friends were taking similar trips. I thought it was good as a creative writer to have a little bit of lived world experience. Why don't you just tell us Hold that. on one second. Hold on one second. My, my, uh, I'll give you your, the floor in a moment. Go ahead. Um, to answer his question, because I knew how they would have reacted. How would they have reacted? Um, they would have met me with hostility and disappointment. Coming up on Justice for the People. So if my child was in my same town, I would be reaching out to my child like white on rice. And I'm kind of curious, why didn't you? If you'll be in the Los Angeles area and want to bring your case to court, call 1-888-552-6878. This is Justice for the People with Judge Millian. We're back with the case of Elliot King, who brought his parents, Jackson and Ava King, to court for refusing to give his dog back. Who, who was paying for college? I was paying for You were my working college. your own way through college. I was working who was my paying own your rent? College. I was paying my okay, own Okay, were they helping you at all financially, or mm. no? You, you were able to do everything on your own? Not financially. I did it on my own, yes. Okay. All right. How often would you see your parents? Um... Maybe once every half year. It had been kind of since I went to school that I reached out to ask if they could watch Pepper. Really? Wow. All right, so now, uh, I mean, because you guys live close by, what happened to the holidays and all that? You wouldn't even get together for the holidays? or I Would you folks said, not even get together for the holidays, or did you get together when your other son came in for... We, when John would come, come back, we would all get together and things of that sort, but we, didn't, we wouldn't get together on holidays, no. Well, what, what reason... Okay, so if my child was um, in my same town, I would be reaching out to my child uh, like white on rice, and I'm kind of curious, why didn't you? We just we didn't communicate as well as we did Is it initially. because he told you he was gay? No, it has nothing to do with that, Your Honor. One of the things I read in your answer to the complaint was, we're trying. Well, it was difficult in the beginning, but we've been working on it. And so to that extent, we've been trying. Okay. All right. And it's become more acceptable. So he time. texts you and says, can you take care of Pepper? And you guys say yes. Uh, yeah, of, of course. Beautiful and you dog. think he's um, studying abroad. Yes, yeah, he then... tells us he's going over there to study. Okay. Um, he's not. We're hearing from mutual friends that he's over there hanging out with his uh, boyfriend. Okay, yeah, well, why can't he be studying and hanging out with his boyfriend? I like, guess in other words, do... how was that evidence he wasn't studying, I guess? Because he's just, uh, there were pictures of him helping like, clubs and doing things, all sorts of things yes, every okay. day. Yes, okay, I'm here to tell you as someone who supported three people going through Madrid for a semester abroad that there are clubs involved, okay? okay? Fair enough. All right, yeah. so yeah, people do that when they're abroad. They, they do also have fun and go to clubs. Young people, um, so... You know, like that's not necessarily evidence. In fact, that your your reaction to the picture and to your friends telling you about it kind of feeds into his premise that maybe you're not all that okay with it. I am a bit old fashioned, Your Honor. Okay. All right. So you get a picture from your friend, you're embarrassed, and you tell him Quite. what? We're not returning Pepper to you? Yes. Well, first off, the dog looked completely different. Like, he was, it, there was something, there was weight loss, he was emaciated. He had this, like, back, right foot injury. It was, like, cracked and swollen. That's something that happened. What happened to the dog? Did the Generally. dog have any accident that was limping or anything like that that you... Yeah, I used to take Pepper out on runs for about a half hour every single morning. Um, but a few days before I left for my trip, I don't know exactly what happened. I didn't have eyes on the paw when it happened. But I noticed that she started limping, too. Okay, did you tell them, hey, she's limping? I let them know that there was a little something going on with her paw, but I didn't know well, there was, was anything something. Wrong. It was cracked and swollen. It was the size of my head. Okay, there but was did, a crack. So did you it take, the dog, did you take the dog to the vet? We did, Your Honor. And, and we, what did the vet my say? My wife and I almost spent $400. 
um, getting this talk anxiety meds and you know topical stuff and you know amoxicillin and stuff for his you know he had an infection it was infected his paw was like twice the size. Okay, did the doctor have any clue? Like, was it broken or was I it not some, broken? Was I have, it, I have evidence it? pertaining to this fact. Yeah, actually, let me see the before vet. and after of the doctor. Do not hand picture. my bailiff your whole folder. Just oh my God, I hate that. I'm in court, Your Honor. I'm you sorry. sift never... and find me the, the doctor's report, the vet's the report. report. Is Police, and this is the vet bill. You do the work, Judge. Oh, you want to get the vet bill? Yeah. Okay. She All right. So here is a picture of Doggy Pepper, and that is. I mean, I guess Pepper's back paw is next to the front paws, and that's the paw that has the problem? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, now this is a police report, and this is the picture of Pepper. Do you have a vet report? I do, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. So I made you sift, and you sifted the wrong... Okay, here we go. Moderate anxiety. Sudden change since last visit. Dog is still really, really anxious. Like... Infected paw and leg swelling. Topical and oral antibiotics prescribed. So nothing about, did they do an x-ray? Did they know if anything was broken? It does, they didn't do any, yeah. any x-rays to the best So apparently knowledge. they didn't think they had to. Yes. You come home and do, whatever time you were going to spend there, what time did you end up spending there? I ended up coming back on August 25th. Which just was like early? I said, which was on time, the on same time. day. All right, so you come home. And then uh, when do you go to your parents' house? Like, by the way, and, and during the time that you're away, do you hear from your parents? Uh, we don't talk much while I'm no, on the trip, so he, No, so they don't text you and say, you liar, you. No, they don't okay. communicate anything at all. As far as I know, Pepper is doing perfectly fine. They the, don't say, we had to take the dog to the vet, you owe us money, and nothing. There's no, no conversation. Nothing to Not even effect. how you do in house Pepper. Not nothing. really, no. Nothing. They just took the dog and I assumed everything was I'm fine. I'm stunned though that you didn't say how's everything. Oh, I'm gonna assume everything is fine. Um, but anyway, okay, so and especially since you left Pepper with a limp, you know, like I kind of would expect you to communicate with your parents. She's my first dog. I thought she just needed a couple of days of rest All if right. I had known so she that, needed that, a So vet. now when you do get home, how do you find out that they refuse to return Pepper? Uh, they, re as soon as I'm off the plane, I get my bags and my first stop on the way home is my parents' house. Um, so that I can get Pepper, I miss her dearly. Um, but when I get there, the door is locked, and my father is shouting at me through the window that I am a lying abuser and that I don't deserve to have Wasn't her back. Out. What were you shouting through the window? Coming up. I think though we were also concerned about the dog's health and the dog's well-being. Maria, because what I'm reading from the vet isn't, oh, the dog is routinely beaten and neglected. This is Justice for the People with Judge Millian. We're back with the case of Elliot King, who brought his parents, Jackson and Ava King, to court for refusing to give his dog back. Okay, so what did you say through the door to your son? <sighs> Ava, do you, uh, Go ahead, let's, let's say it, we all know it. You're I not said, getting the dog home. back, How did they come over there? How was school? Very sarcastically, mind you. Right, did you tell him you're not getting Pepper back? Yes. And did you say why? I said, he, I'd read him, we'd bring him to the vet and spend almost $400, and his dog is not in good health. He's anxiety-ridden. Maybe the yeah. dog was anxiety-ridden because he was back with you two. Why don't we go back to that honesty thing and think about this? Do you think that maybe a little bit of you was mad about the lack of communication with your son, mad that your son lied to you about what he was doing there? It was a gap year that you took that you funded yourself. So, so what? No, you know? self-funded and I yeah. did use it in my studies, but no, I wasn't actively yeah, 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 in school yeah. But I time. mean, but see, you know, it, it's part of becoming an adult and separating from your parents, you're doing very well, which is supporting yourself and going through, uh, you know, supporting yourself through college and working and all that stuff you're doing really well. And then the lie part comes, which shouldn't have to come, but maybe you were worried that if you told the truth, that I'm going with some friends, and it's none of their business who the friends are, um, that's truth enough. I'm going with some friends yeah. to Europe. I, I want, you know, I'm gonna use that in my creative writing, and whatever you wanna say that's more close to the truth um, would have been a better idea, right? Maybe, maybe. I was. I was but just I just, I don't see how seeing a picture of your son out at a club makes you decide that he's not actually studying. It's coming up. Can we be honest and admit that part of the reason why you decided to keep the dog was to punish him? Yes. Okay. This is Justice for the People with Judge Millian. 
We're back with the case of Elliot King, who brought his parents, Jackson and Ava King, to court for refusing to give his dog back. Are we going to be honest? Did we decide we're playing the honest card? Yes, Your Honor. Yes. Can we be honest and, um, and admit that part of the reason why you decided to keep the dog was to punish him? Yes. Okay. Yes. Mom? Uh, I, I don't think we were trying to punish him. He Do you ever, like, if a child it. lies to me, I, I spend the first minute mad that they lied, and then I spend the second minute wondering why they lied. Right? Yes. Right. Exactly. Do you? Do you understand why he may not? If you're constantly comparing him to the hero brother who enlisted, um, does that... Um, does that occur to you that maybe, you know, that's first of all just a terrible parenting device anyway, comparing anybody to anybody, but also does it occur to you that maybe that's why he lied and shouldn't you, if you don't, have a little insight into that and think to yourself, what is going wrong between us and how can I fix it? And why did he feel the need to lie? Because apparently he was right, he needed to lie. Yeah. Well, I understand that there was a breakdown in communication there. I think, though, we were also concerned about the dog's health and the dog's well-being. Were you? Because what I'm reading from the vet isn't, oh, the dog is routinely beaten and neglected. What I am reading from the vet is the dog has anxiety. No kidding. His owner left, and he doesn't speak English, and the dog doesn't understand that the owner's coming back. Judge Millian's verdict when justice for the people returns. This is Justice for the People with Judge Millian. Why are we in court over his dog? We're not in court over his dog. We know that we're not in court over his dog. Do you want him back in your life? Yes. Yes. We miss him. Okay. Do you want him back in your life accepting that he's gay? Yes. Yes. In the end of the day, he's a 19-year-old. Okay, I don't care what your friends think. I don't care what your church thinks. You know, I, I realize that they have made you feel less than. And that is shame on you. Because every child is different, every human is different, and you need to accept him how he is. Can you get over that flaw in their treatment of you and give this another chance? I'm willing to try. Okay. Ellie, we miss you. I've missed you too. Go ahead, go over there. Everybody wants to, just go ahead. Folks, it's his dog. Dogs are property. I know we think of them as humans. You don't have a right to confiscate someone's dog because you don't think they're treating them well. Dog is going back to you. That is my verdict. I'm not going to award you $20,000. You don't even want the $20,000. That's not what I was after anyway, I know. Your Honor. You want Pepper, OK? That's my verdict. And I really wish you folks the best and hope that this is a new beginning for you. Thank I really you, mean Judge. it from the bottom of my soul. Thank you so much. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. All rise. Judge Millian has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The co-defendants have been ordered to return the dog to their son. I don't want to lose you, but just try to meet me where I'm at. Ellie, you know we love you. It's about us and our communication. I just want you to do well. This has been a production of Allen Media Group.